Ninky doing country boy. Twelve days old. What you want, Mr. Buck, huh? What do you want, Mr. Buck? I see you there. Say, I have cut into this. This is late Sunday afternoon, November the 22nd. I just finished, just this minute, finished putting these puppies down on the ground. This is the first time they've ever had to feed on dirt. And they aren't wasting a minute about it. Ow! There ain't no more bridges legs are eating me up. Hey. Well, I'll have to try and explain to you. You can refer back a little bit in your video and you will see who is who. For example, this is a little female from Country Boy and uh, Snowbird. A female with brown spots that I said had a lot of drive on her. As you can see, she already found herself something to chew up on. Female from Country Boy and Snowbird with the brown spots. Now, who do we have here? This is a Horton's Warrior male, the light-colored one that's uh, started actually getting to be one of the hardest biting one of the bunch. This puppy's only got a smudge over one eye. Whoop, 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 whoop. Paying me no attention. He's got something caught. Come back to him in a minute. For your puppies, this is the uh, big red male. <clears throat> Frankly, I don't care if any of you don't take this dog. I'll raise him and use him for stud myself. This is a lot of pup here. I, I like this dog. Big red male from a Horton's Warrior trio. That one blue eye. He's a lot of puppy. I like him. Brambleback bitch. This is a Snowbird and Country Boy again. This is probably the most handsome of the Snowbird and Country Boy females are still here. Snowbird and Country Boy male with the two dark eyes. Get off my feet, baby. Should take refuge in the pickup truck. I was getting caught too hard. This is the Snowbird Country Boy Male, I was trying to take a minute ago when he got me with a leg. I don't know how much I can show you from this angle up high. This is Snowbird and Country Boy male that I'm keeping, <coughs> at least for the moment, this male with a red saddle. Who is that? That's the Horton's Warrior Country Boy male. You'll notice he's as big or bigger than the other one. They're only a couple of days apart in age. Snowbird's daughter. Snowbird's other daughter far away. Found herself something to chew up. The other little white one that's over the Rottweiler bitch is a white uh, Horton's Warrior female that I'm keeping. She's not for sale. Okay, here's a Horton's Warrior male. It's right behind the red dog. He's the one you haven't got to see. He's the one with the brown spots on his ears. Quite a bunch of some hard chewing little cuss, too. Here he comes. That's his red brother. Starting to get a wicked head on him, as I said earlier in the video. He's making a nice puppy. Chew, don't be frightened. They'll only eat on you a little. They don't really know, Norman. I've been tending to these puppies. Snowbird male. Snowbird male Norman's rubbing. That's Horton's Warrior male over there at Norman now. This is probably one of the hardest biting ones of the bunch. The one that Norman's just starting to rub and running right, right around behind Norman right now. Only got a smudge you know, over one eye. Smudge over his left eye. My little bitch got a smudge over her right eye. And there's the other Horton's Warrior male chasing his brother or his sister there. I have to say they ain't very withdrawn to have just now found out what water is. That's a little bitch, ain't it, Norman? Ain't that our little girl? Yep. Well, I want you to see their reaction to getting down on the ground, which has certainly been good. This is all a hard driving, hard chewing bunch of puppies, and they've tore up two or three t-shirts for me already trying to lean over their pins. Now they're going to start tearing my pants, I suppose. This little bitch can get hard on Norman's hands and arms. She got no mercy. It's the one I'm keeping. Now, that's the male with the spot over his other eye. The other side of Norman. Ouch, she got no mercy either. I bet that feels good, don't it, Norman? <laughs> Oh, what's this old business? Ow. They got no mercy. That's a good male. Snowbird male, he won't send to him. He's actually decenter acting. Got a little more manners than the Horton Warrior male. He's got a lot of push. All right. Where was I still? Oh. 
glad enough I brought Yankee puppies. They're now three and a half weeks old. Big female right there with the one big spot on her ear. Can't keep her in the pen. This male had a broke tail when he was born. We had to cut his tail. He's got all the spots. That's a male. There's three males and three bitches in this litter. And I swear, the last litter had good heads, but this this country boy dinky litter is has outdone it. Look at the heads on these puppies. Well, they looked good a while ago when you saw them as little bitties, but they're really coming on now. Three males and three bitches. I don't think that these will be around very long. I'm tempted to keep that bitch right there. Another white bitch in there next to her. White bitch just as tempting, too. They're all full of food now. I put food down and they went to eat me like they've been doing it all their lives. Shoot, I could wean them this minute if I wanted to. Okay, as long as you see the way they're progressing, the heads that are on, the dinky do's children. What are you barking at me? Yeah, terrible puppy. You do something for me? Go in the dog pen and go where your rat terrier babies are. I want to show the people this alpine crack climbing act here. Seeing them come down. They'll come down to see you. That's Dolly and the junkyard dog up top. Watch this, watch this number right here. I like that for three month old being smart and figuring something out. Just wanted to show it to you. Yeah, ain't that a kid? <laughs> Three months old, they figured that out all on their own. Okay, Norm, I just wanted to show people that on the video. Mother, I got lucky and bought her the other day. Much bigger bitch than Dinky. She's just been bred the country, boy. We'll have pups off that in a couple of months. And I can't get anything when I'm out here by myself because they're too busy catching me. Okay, folks, that's all I have to show you. I just, just thought I'd catch you up to date a little bit on, uh, on what the puppies are coming on like and let you see them a couple of weeks older and see the terrific difference a couple of weeks made. So uh, these are all the puppies that I'll have for a little bit. And uh, I hope you like my dogs and I thank you.